Hey folks, so we just arrived at the Gap Trail. I believe we're going from Confluence to Ohio Pile, but I could have that direction reversed. You can see this is the Bat Mushmobile. This vehicle is our backup vehicle today. Sometimes we use it, sometimes we don't. <laughs> Chris and Jim and other bike riders are around are putting the uh, Wolfmobile. That's the bike we'll be using today, four wheel drive, just because of the actual conditions out here. It could be muddy, etc. So, dogs are all loaded in the truck still. Windows are up, air is on. It feels kind of nice out here. It's a little hot because we're in the sun, but the uh, humidity is kind of on the lower side. And uh, we're looking forward to a great run. So we're getting ready to put the harnesses on, folks. It's about that time. If you watch my other Wolf Driver videos, you know when that time is. Good boy, Jaggy. Joe you know, Jag helps me with this, Paul. Good boy, Jag. He's used to this. He's uh, he's ridden this trail before. Not his first rodeo. You're the best boy, Jaggy. You're a good boy. Okay, now. Now the big boys, harness. I don't like to put chases on to last, and that chase is bizarre. I consider that about the same. Wolf driver. Let's start with one of them, but both want it done. Because <laughs> they know that this is the time. And this is the place. I go, boy. That's a little hard from this angle. So what I'll do is just get it on there somewhat and double check it when we get there. Get on the bike, good boy. If I forget, please remind me. Oh, you're watching the video, that's after the fact. <laughs> Gotta have some humor, folks. Chase Paul, good boy. Now Chase has got assist on this paw, that's why he's, uh, doesn't hurt him, but that's why he licks it. You should see him licking it. You can see it protruding out a little bit. Usually benign, it's ingrown Wolf hair. Driver. But uh, it's gotten bigger, so it's time to remove it. And that's what we'll do in the next few weeks. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Wolf driver. Hey, Jay.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. So, folks, we're on the, the Gap Trail, Great Allegheny Passage, they call it. Here's an old house. That's uh, is that ghost tunnel, Jim? Yeah. We could get in there, couldn't we? Well, you hear us talking because we're always looking for abandoned structures that we can get access to. Of course, let's say that don't say no trespassing so we can do our werewolf's ghost hunt. That means we would take the dogs here late at night in the spring, summer, kind of like it is now when it's warm during the day. Now it's not too warm to run them, but when it's normally warm during the day and you can run them in the core part of the evening. And then when we stop the ghost hunt, they take a rest. Somebody stays with the dogs and we have a team out here and we go and do a ghost hunt or a paranormal investigation if you will that's what werewolves is all about you can catch that on werewolves.com w-e-r-e-w-o-o-f as in frank s as in sam werewolves.com so right now we're on the great allegheny passage which is kind of a continuation of the cno <laughs> Wolf Driver. So, this trail, I believe, goes, the, the CNO Canal goes 184.5 miles from Georgetown, D.C. to Cumberland, Maryland. From Cumberland, Maryland to Pittsburgh, which might be another 200 miles, I can't remember, is the uh, Gap Trail, Great Allegheny Passage. And um, I believe this was a railroad trail. Um, the CNO was not. That was a canal trail or a tow path. That is now both of them are bike paths um, and a lot of designated parks through them. Yep, I see it. So that's where we're at. We're running into a fair amount of people because it's a beautiful late, late, late summer day, almost fall time. We're at September. What's the date, Jim? 13th? 13th and I think the 21st this fall yeah. so we're, we're kind of uh, on the outskirts of fall which of course the dogs love and we're coming through a gate which is a little tight so we're gonna see how we're gonna maneuver and I'll keep the camera on yep will I make it through okay tell me what you want me to do bud Together, yep. And then you go through the front, and then we'll take, get the hook of boys back up and take Jag off. Master plan, Jim. You seem like you've done this before. Okay. <laughs> Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver.
Wolf Driver. Wolf Driver. saw folks was what we call wolf driving wolf there's always a challenge here now this is the widest bike of the fleet so that's why it was a little problematic going through but uh we made it beautiful butterfly and um you see sometimes we have to move the dogs off and rearrange the situation but uh it's all good i'm not going nowhere till you say good here we go guys hike so this is called the Ramcat parking area in case you want to look up on Google Maps where we're at or where we've been and we're continuing on the Gap Trail Great Allegheny Passage so our mileage has been a little light so far because we ran into that first gate looks like we'll probably have another one down here now we've turned our Springer in the Springer are the arms that the dogs are tethered to so if all holds true and the gate's consistent, the trail's consistent, we should be able to make it through that one by taking the dogs off, but with um, just um, not too many other adjustments. So, probably another thing like that here, Jimmy. Left gate, yeah, it does. You think it's an optical illusion? The right one is, because, yeah, it's on an angle. Yeah, come on, guys. Wolf driver. What's our P? Come on, good boy. Come on, guys. Hike. Come on, Chase. How's Jack? So we've followed our situation through many a gates before, and this is just a another obstacle. Which teamwork with the dogs. Dogs need to be properly trained and they need to be comfortable with the situation because sometimes they got to squeeze in too which they do and uh here's what looks like a powerhouse remember uh, i think this used to have a railroad on it railway service so a lot of these buildings were probably used along the railroad and this is uh we're in ohio pile so we're actually going through Wolf ohio Driver. pile to some other destination <laughs> that's 10 miles away we're going to uh pittsburgh's 86 miles jimmy Yeah, we've done it before. Not from here, but. You're not kidding. Look at that river, Jim. And that's where we're at right now, folks. This is just incredible, folks. I hope you're getting a view of this. This is just uh, heaven on earth. We're on the Great okay. Allegheny Passage, which is, runs from Cumberland, Maryland to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, we're doing about scheduled 10 miles today. We've got about a mile and a half in. I'm with the Wolf Pack, and we're just loving life. It's like its own little natural uh, cave-like area. It's not a true cave. There's no roof on here, but it's uh, tunnel vision, <laughs> if you will. 
We're moving at a pace of walking pace, 4.2 miles per hour. These are uh, usually when we do these in the warmer temperatures, they're nothing more than glorified walks when we're out here on the dog powered go kart. Wolf Driver. It's actually just a stairway. We've passed a couple of these. They're stairways down to the river. And that is the Yakahani, I believe. How cool is that, folks? So look at this view, folks. I mean, it doesn't get any better. Beautiful stream wolf running, driver. I guess, into the Yakahani River under the trail here. Got the wolf pack with me. And I'm gonna try to get a picture of this if I can. And this is in her special chair. Everybody's looking good. And um, I'm gonna take a picture because we want to remember the memories. So we're crossing the 65 mile marker as you see it there, folks. Wolfpack's doing great. That logs us in for three miles, Jim. Three. Three of 10, so we got seven to go. Running along, it's probably, temperature's probably in the low 70s right now. Could be even the high 60s. Um, What's your time, Jim? About Wolf Driver. Is it five o'clock? Okay. No, it's not that late. It's four, not quite four. Not quite four o'clock on September 13th. This is how we do it. So we're taking a quick break, folks, so I can change some camera batteries, and this is a good time to let Princess have a little stretch. Her uh, one paw's been bothering her from her arthritis, so. She's really limited on what she can do right now, but this gives her a little stretch and it'll help get a little bit of movement in there. Just go, even if we only go a few hundred feet with her, it helps her out. And it also uh, lets her get the Wolf driver. become up close and personal with the trail like the other dogs are. So she enjoys that. Got a battery to change out. Some of these cameras you see are actually wired up. So we don't have to change the batteries. They've got, they're on a USB battery, big battery. But this, the one spin camera can't function like that because it'll spin the cord unless I make a special attachment, which we haven't done yet. Wolf driver. So we're gonna go real slow, Jim. This princess has only got a little bit of Flex in her. You good, bud? Good. Cool. cool. And that's where we're at. So the princess seems to be done her quick venture. Oops. Wolf driver. So right now I'm gonna put her back up in her bed. It's okay, good girl. It's okay. Just a quick jaunt to get her off, and now we put her right back up. Three-point harness system again. Keeps her secure. We put these towels on to prevent it from rubbing into her because she likes to be a little hyper when we move. She always wants to see what's in front. And she'll lean to the left and lean to the right to uh, get the most visibility.
Wolf Driver. So we're going to do a water break now. We've done a few already, but I'm going to video this one. Again, we're going to let the princess down. She's taking a few breaks from her seat. Wolf driver. Okay, Chase, that's okay, buddy. Chase is excited, he don't want to stop. They're probably not too thirsty because we've ordered them a few miles ago and it's not real hot out here. But Jim will do the watering. I'm usually going around, checking the dogs, um, giving them, taking their pictures, giving dissertations like I'm doing now on video, etc. cetera. And um, it's great. You can see Princess, Princess is, in case you didn't know, she's the eldest of the bunch, about 14 and a half. And um, she's been really sore on her shoulder. So she's been limping a little more than usual lately. And this, she goes through these phases just because of age health restrictions we'll so we try to keep the mobility going but pugs like this she rides in her special seat almost the whole trip but she'll get down for like uh, a few blocks maybe someone's coming jim and um be able to just stretch it out go to the bathroom do that kind of stuff which you can see i mean she just moved that bike on her own she's got a lot of uh, power no matter what hi good girl Hopefully you're getting a good view of the bike. This is her special seat. Easy pretty. We, as you see, we rig this with a lot of cameras because I like to capture all the moments. And you can look through the Wolf Driver library on YouTube or the Wolf Driver website can take you Wolf there. Driver. And you can see many years of awesome enjoyment. make sure this is a wide area we try to stop some trails don't have wide areas we try to stop and why she's trying to pull <laughs> that's how she's that's what keeps her going her feisty and wild personality to say the least she's a wild girl and she is the only female of the pack and I think you know that also this will let them take a breather if they want Zara lays down um, chase once in a while take a breather but he just what wants driver? to go most of the time and explore. So the reason you see all the cameras is there's a few nice. different Wolf Driver channels on YouTube. So again, you can get a listing on the Wolf Driver Facebook, oh, I'm sorry, the wolfdriver.com website. And uh, see, get different views. Um, some are narrated like I'm doing here, some are in 360. Uh, some of you just have a spin camera so you can see all the dogs at different times and the reaction and how they go, etc. Now, if you saw the bike rolling a little bit, it will do that sometimes because the dogs are pulling on it. But um, we can engage the brake, which is usually not necessary. It's a pain, actually, because the parking brake's a piece of Velcro we wrap around it. And um, some of the bikes actually have a parking brake um, built into them. But we haven't been able to perfect that design yet. Actually, Chase is taking a little bit of a break. Hi, good boy. You're a good boy, Chasey. Good boy, Chase. Boy. Boy. Chase's paw, if you notice, he's got a little uh, cyst. Usually a benign kind of cyst. But uh, it's gotten a little bigger, which just means we're probably going to have to remove it. Actually, uh, It'll drain itself sometimes. Ingrown hair is how they start off, from what I understand. And uh, Jimmy's going to take a view of the river. I believe it's the Yakahini. There's also, I think it's the Yakahini and the Castleman, and they all call it the confluence where they all meet. I think three rivers come together. The Yakahini and the Castleman, I don't know what the other river is. I don't think it's the Potomac, but there's a place they all meet, and that's what they call Confluence, I believe. So I'll have to look that up for you. But you can see Princess is very alert. And 
she's still standing the boys are taking a break because they just went about uh eight and a half nine miles it's a great day out here roughly uh 72 degrees uh probably at this point it's cooled off so it could even be in the high 60s now and we're loving life just great scenery and what a fantastic place to be at so jim's ready dogs have been watered This is how we put the dogs away when we're done for the day. Pack them up for home. Wolf driver. Princess. There's her, the steps to get into the truck. Come on, good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. We'll work for her to climb the steps of her age with her arthritis. So, got to tell her what a good girl she is. Keeping her motivated to do that. Good girl. I put the pillow there because uh, sometimes she likes to bark at the boys. Zaro. Wolf driver. This is Chase. Hey, good boy. Good boy, Chase. That's how the steps come out for him. Hey, good boy, Zaro. Water's there. They've just been watered. In addition. And last but not least. The little guy, the Jagster. Okay, Jaggy. Now the Jagster. His steps aren't working, but he likes to jump. But because of the end of the stay, Jag, 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 stay. I'm gonna let him up. Good boy. Wolf driver. And that's how we do it. Now we're gonna take harnesses off. You see Chase is chewing on his. I could boy, you're the best. Z-Man getting his harness off. And we're gonna get the chasers off. Chase, Chase, come on. Good boy. And that's how we end our day, folks. Wolf driver.